What's up? Welcome to another episode of Bites. You should know us by now after watching I don't know how many episodes already. Uh, if you don't know who we are, you can please uh, go through all the different episodes uh, previously uploaded on this channel. Yeah, so since this is the season finale, if you haven't watched any episodes, pause the video right now, hit the pause button, go binge watch all the rest of the 23 episodes and then come back to this episode. At the beginning of this series, we actually started with a bunch of questionnaires mm. where uh, you can get to know us a bit better. So we found it fitting to actually end it with even more questions that you guys sent uh, to end this season. Without any more wasting time, let's get into the questions. Oh, I think you're good. Uh, <laughs> what is something you learned in the last week? What is something you learned in the last week? Anchor guards are very good for you uh, and don't rush when you rock climb because you can slip, fall and sprain your ankle. So uh, for those of you who don't know, I'm wearing an ankle guard now because I sprain my ankle uh, rock climbing. But it's speaking to the future. <laughs> uh, yeah, last week, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. within the last week. I think um, one of the things that, okay, I, I get a bit serious, but one of the things I really learned is um, Sometimes when you're generous, um, the people who are generous are the ones that look like a fool because you are giving a lot, you're giving more than what others perceive as you can actually handle. So it's just like Mary in the Bible in John chapter 12, when she anointed Jesus with the expensive perfume and Judas said that she was stupid. So sometimes um, generous people look stupid, but in the end they get their, their reward. So that's what I learned in the last week. Next question. What is your least favorite Malaysian food? Um, is durian counted? If durian is counted, then anything durian heresy is my least favorite heresy. No, it's a forbidden fruit. If you can put an edit to <laughs> heresy. <laughs> no, it's that's heresy. Uh, <laughs> um, What's your least my favorite Malaysian? Least favorite Malaysian food. Um, I I don't necessarily have a least favorite Malaysian food. Yeah, Kuang eats anything. I would definitely say. You know when you eat um, nasi kerabu, no, 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 I'm saying nasi kerabu is my least favorite. But I'm saying <laughs> nasi kerabu with very old cabbage. You know, you know that 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 chlorinated taste you get in the rice. So that that's my least favorite. Not if I love nasi kerabu if you have fresh vegetables on it. <laughs> but it's the nasi kerabu with that that that, that style la. Current Netflix slash TV show binge. Netflix and TV show. Um, <laughs> there was one series that I was watching. I finished, I recently finished Stranger Things. Uh, and I just finished The Kingdom. It's the Korean zombie show. That was actually pretty good, The Kingdom. So that, that's the two that I currently watch. What was the first one again? Uh, Stranger Things. Str oh, okay. Stranger, Stranger Things. Things. And the Kingdom. Um, I watch, well, currently every season I have been a big, big fan of the reality TV competition called Survivor. It's now, epi it's now season 39. I watch every <laughs> single season since I was 10 years old. And season 39 is just, uh, has just started. Uh, but anyway, uh, a sitcom I recently watched while my off-season of Survivor was Frasier. Mm. I love Frasier. Um, it's a sitcom. It went on for 11 seasons uh, through the 90s and early 2000s. Um, I watch it almost every year or once in two years, go through, binge watch the entire thing. Uh, why I love it is because I studied psychology uh, during the beginning periods of my degree and then I moved over to uh, media and then I worked in a radio station. And Frasier is a psychologist working in a radio station. Mm. So that's why I love Frasier so much. Okay, this is a very interesting one and probably a short one. I know who sent this to. What is your alarm clock sound? Okay, let me show you mine. My alarm clock sound is this. I would sleep through this. It's soothing. This is... It's either this or... <laughs> it's either this or this one. Yeah. 
Yes, that's my alarm because the thing that I really hate the most <laughs> is waking up to a ta 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 ta. <laughs> okay, I used to have that sort of alarm, uh, not the soothing ones, but the annoying ones, just to wake me up uh, because you know I'm scared to oversleep. <laughs> but right now I have a very boring one. One of my favorite alarm was actually this song by Mandisa and Toby Mac called Good Morning. Um, I love the song and it's it's nice enough but annoying enough to wake you up. So um, it'll be difficult for me to play it here. So you can just pause this video, check it out, uh, go to YouTube, check out Good Morning by Mandisa featuring Toby Mac. And then that was the chorus especially was my ringtone. So I cut it out for just for that. Yeah. Personally, I don't really like to put songs because yeah. the thing that I realized is that when you put songs as your alarm, you tend to start hating the song. <laughs> ah, okay. Yeah, because that. you like when you hear the song, it's associated with like oh waking up. Yeah. So I and usually try to avoid putting uh, songs yeah. as my. Hence why I have to change the song every three months. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Would you rather be able to speak any language or play any instrument? That's easy for me. <laughs> okay, I'd, I'd play any instrument. I think. Um, Music is a language on its own, so um, I love music and so I think playing any instrument will be able to reach anyone. I would say speak any language because for me I'm a banana, so I can't speak Mandarin, Hokkien, Cantonese or any dialect whatsoever. Yeah. And I realise the need for that and how much I can communicate as well uh, to people and I realise that the lack of skill that I have, which I am trying to learn and I know some of you watching this are trying to teach me Mandarin yeah. and if you meet me uh, outside, <laughs> uh, come say hi to me in Mandarin and I will look at you and ask you what it means and hope that I learn something new. I so yes, language. I will just language. look blur. Yeah. When are you guys coming down to Malacca again? Oh, When are you guys coming I, down to Malacca again? I, think I, I, I know who wrote this. I know who, <laughs> this, who wrote this. Uh, shout out to uh, Janning, right? Yes. Yeah, shout out to Janning who wrote this down. Uh, when are we coming down to Malacca? If you call us down, uh, we will come down. Uh, you know, if your church needs something, your CM needs something, uh, feel free to yes. call us, ask us to come down. Because uh, if there is no work down there, we'll just go down for a So yeah, yeah. If, you, if, you, if you say that you need to come for CF or thing, right? We'll definitely come down. Yeah. Yeah. But also look out for announcements because we announced where we're going um, on our social media account. So this year we went to Kuantan, we went mm. to Malacca, we went to different places this year. So just look out for these announcements. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. next question. If you had all the money in the world, what would be the first thing you buy? Easy. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> okay, um, considering... Okay, if, if you talk about right now, uh, I don't know if some people notice, but... If you had all the money in the world, okay. My watch is actually broken. Okay. And it's actually not working now. Okay. I don't know if you see me in the future, if you see me wearing this exact same watch, see if it's working. But if you see, both heads are not working. But for me, I, I, I really cannot tahan. So what's the point of wearing the watch? Because I feel naked if I don't wear the watch. So I would wear a, I, wristband I, I would, or I would wear a watch. Um, if, if on all the money you roll, uh, I'll, I'll firstly get a watch. <laughs> yeah. So if you made an appointment with Kuang and he's late, so it's your job to buy him a watch. Uh, yeah. So if you see me wearing this watch in the future, that means... Uh, um, it's still broken <laughs> and I still haven't gotten the money to get a watch yet. Mine is very simple, if I had all the money in the world, I would buy land, 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 land. Buy land for churches, buy land for campsites, buy land for, mm. uh, you know, old folks home, orphanages, um, you know, things just to go and reach people with God. Oh, God yes, yes. Campsites, I need more campsites. That. <laughs> if, if, if the, second, all, the second thing the I'll buy, the, the second thing I'll buy would be land <laughs> and would be like dedicated, this is, Ministry land. That yeah. means you know you can use this land for for sports. Yeah. You know for, for indoor courts, for captain ball, yeah. for for frisbee, for uh, you know campsite. Yeah, it's just really <laughs> this giant lot where people can come and rent this place for cheap yeah. to have camps, sports events, uh, things like that. Yeah, that will be mine. <laughs> yes, that will be ours. Aside from watch, yeah. Would you rather have hiccups for the rest of your life? or always feel like you wanted to sneeze but can't? I've heard this question before. Okay, I'll say it first. I would rather hiccup for the rest of my life. Uh, I know that's terrible because I won't be able to sing, I won't be able to do anything, but having wanting to sneeze will just make me 
constantly uncomfortable. Like, at least he comes give me two or three seconds just to. <laughs> of, of yeah. Pure. <laughs> really? <Not like>, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I would rather have the feeling of sneezing because I realized that for me, um, a very good pastime of mine is putting things in my mouth, like food and water. And I don't want any hiccups to disrupt that. I have tried eating and drinking. Uh, with, with hiccups and I have choked many times and nearly died a couple of those times as well so I would rather go like rather than eat and then like, <gasps> and then die oh, okay. yeah. I think then I would definitely pick hiccups because then it'll be an easier way to lose weight <laughs> okay here's a question that says what is a common saying that people always say that you think is ridiculous <laughs> Let me read the question again. What is a common saying that people always say that you think is ridiculous? Uh, <laughs> you go first. Oh, mine's simple. Um, the saying I find ridiculous is God helps those who help themselves. Um, uh, because yeah. that's not the God that we have. Um, the God that we have helps those who are helpless um, especially um, you know when, when we are helpless when we when we have nowhere else to turn to and we feel absolutely at the edge uh, of no one helping us that's when God comes through um, and so if, if no one in the world helps us even if we cannot help ourselves anymore God is always there and He will never forsake us so uh, that's a ridiculous saying uh, that God helps only those who help themselves um, and yeah so that's what I find ridiculous I don't know if mine a bit controversial lah, but the term forgive and forget. Yeah, I, I don't know what, what, what you say now, you feel about that, but uh, to me, people say, oh, you know, just forgive and forget, forgive and forget. So, oh, then God forgets, or God forgive and forget. But things, the thing is for me, God does not forget. God remembers everything that you did, all the sin that you have sinned against Him. And it's not that He didn't forget it, that sin that you did, punishment was made and the punishment was made on Jesus Christ. God didn't just forgive and then he forgot. No. He forgave because he still remembered the punishment and the punishment didn't go towards you. It went to Jesus Christ. So a lot of people say, oh just forgive and forget, forgive and forget. No, no, no. The thing is, forgive. Yes, you kind of remember but you forgive and through forgiveness, you treat the person properly again. Mm. It's not that you forget, but forgive and move on. Mm. So I will say that rather than forgive and forget, I'll change it to forgive and move on. Yeah. I, I, th- I think that, that, that sometimes that it's a difference in, in terms. La. So mm. sometimes I think it's not just forgetting, but it's restoration that, yes, that, that yeah. we need. I think uh, that's, forgive, what God, that's what God did. Uh, yeah. Forgive and restore yeah. rather than forgive and forget. Yeah. Forgive and restore. Yes. Okay. What has been the most dif- difficult challenge in your life so far? This question. Oh. No, this question has been the most difficult challenge of my life so far. Um, for me, definitely would be juggling a lot of the ministries that I do. Um, I'm, I'm doing work in SU. I'm taking care of uh, a few CS, looking out for some of the students. Uh, <laughs> hopefully some of you are watching this as well. Um, and as well involved in church ministry, sports, captain ball, uh, Copa Iba, and really taking care even of uh, all these players. Um, definitely the amount of things that I'm doing uh, in ministry is difficult. Um, it, it, it's not something, it's not a particular moment that I, that I find it difficult, but it's a uh, continuous journey. I really thank God for the people helping me out. Uh, and maybe just a say to anyone here who is feeling a bit burdened, burned out by the amount of ministries they're doing, don't do it alone. Yeah. You know, there are people helping, people there to help you out, there are people there who, who can you know, give you support, pray for you, and to know that you are not doing this Christian journey yeah. and any of this ministry alone. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, that's so good. Um, for me, uh, well, I was just joking earlier about the question, but for me, I think one of the most difficult things if I'm really being real is um, dealing with people. Um, I think at whatever age you are, and if you are a leader especially, um, you have to deal with people. And dealing with people of all ages, of all different personality types, of all different moods and generations and different backgrounds, um, 
it's very difficult for one person to be able to cater for all these people and um, as as someone in a position to to help people to talk to people um, i think sometimes it's very difficult because you don't know how much you get involved emotionally how much uh, how much time is spent just like uh, Zekwang mentioned about the, the, the different ministries that we've been put into um, and to spread ourselves so thin with, even with the different people let alone the tasks that we have um, so that has been one of the most difficult challenges to cater ourselves as a one person <laughs> to many different uh, people with different personalities so that, that's the most difficult challenge but again work with others and uh, that's why we keep a community around us so that's our final question. If you know some of these questions that you asked did not get answered, do feel free to uh, actually you know, comment below. Yeah. Uh, and even to message us personally if you yeah. want to know some of the things that we're going through exactly. in our lives. Yeah. If, if, if you love these questions, right, you can actually DM us and ask us more questions for next season. And who knows, we may have, a, we have many more questions to come next season. So with that, we just want to thank you for your support and your... Uh, you know all your all your shares your likes your mm. subscribes continue to share these videos that we have we are we are hoping that these videos really help you in your CS and your youth mm. and uh, that's it really from us for this year um, yeah. we'll most likely see you again next year uh, and if you see us uh, out there uh, give us a shout out say hi say hey the bites guy or something <laughs> like that. so that's it once uh, final time this year my name is Sukwang I'm Joel and thank you for watching. Bye. See you next year.